Hey guys, I want to do one more quick video to help you out with how to upload and submit an assignment for any of your classes if you save to Google Drive or OneDrive. So if you save to like your desktop or to the computer to a flash drive, the way you would do it, and we've talked about that, I'm just going to go to the edit screen. So like yours would look like a box with the options here, you wouldn't have all this. If you save it to your desktop or to your flash drive or you know this is especially helpful for like a personal computer you would click file and then you'd have to go over here and find where you saved it so like if you do the save as like i was showing you in the word document on the assignment today and you save it to like your desktop which is where i recommend you saving things so you can submit them then you can move them afterwards you could see that you know they're right there you can double click on it or you can click it and hit open and it will then add it to your little text box at the bottom like this and then you hit submit you're good to go but if you're on like a school computer or a computer that's not yours it won't allow you to save anything to the desktop or to the hard drive so therefore you save it to your google drive which is your school google drive account or your OneDrive, which you also get through school to upload from there you do not go to file, you have to go over here to resource. You click resource, go down here and click apps, and that's how you access your Google Drive folder and your OneDrive folder. Now, as you can see, when I click my Google Drive, you see all the stuff in my Google Drive. You know, so let's say that this was the assignment, it's right here in my Google Drive. Click on it, hit import, import it as a file, Takes it just a second, and boom, it added it right there to the assignment. I would hit submit, send it to my teacher, and I'm done. Okay. If you click on resources and you go to apps and you try to do your Google Drive, but it says right here that you don't have access, you have to give permission, then you need to, to click that and give the permission. Make sure you select your student email, the at MCPSS email, and go through those steps. There is a video on my YouTube page, on the same YouTube page, that says how to sync your student accounts in Schoology. You need to click that video. It's only like three or four minutes long, but it shows you how to do the step to, to give permission for your Google Drive information to be seen here. Same for your OneDrive. If you click OneDrive and there's something here that tells you you haven't given permission yet, if you go watch that other video that says how to sync your Schoology account to your Google Drive and OneDrive, OneDrive accounts, it will show you what to click on and how to do to, to sync that to where when you do just like I do and click on the apps and click on Google Drive, you can see all the stuff in your Google Drive. You can see all the stuff in your OneDrive. So like that will work for any class, not just mine. And like, let's say you didn't save it, like the blue is the Google Docs. Let's say you did something in science and you saved it on your Google Drive as a Google Slide. You can go and change it to the yellow, which is the Google Slides, which I don't have any saved on my Google Drive, which is why I was doing this. But then you can just pull up your Google Slides and go that way. So, well, there actually I do have some. So there, you know, there's these here. You can click on that. So. And Google Drive is great because it's a place where you can save everything and then no matter what computer you get on, as long as you log in with your school email, all your stuff will still be there. So again, one more time, if it's saved on your desktop or on a flash drive, you know, or somewhere on your computer, you click file, go over here to the left and find wherever you saved it as, and then add it that way. If it is saved on your Google Drive or on your OneDrive, like the cloud, you have to go to resource apps and then there are the two of them are right there you know if you have a dropbox account you may want to do dropbox so like i can see all my dropbox stuff but if yours says it needs permission first again go watch the other youtube video i have posted about how to sync your schoology account to your google drive and OneDrive, and then you'll be able to see everything in your boxes just like i can here okay um i hope that helps if you need me for anything else, just send me a little message here. Thanks, guys.